Hello and thanks for looking in. So today we're going to be using some of my newly reconditioned Super 4. I've been gathering this together for the last uh, two or three weeks. I've just been working on right hand and left hand points but I've got quite a nice selection of curves and straights and the aim today is to work on the upward and downward main lines at the rear of the layout. So if we start sort of a foot to the left of those platforms where the straights are and then come along the rear the two main lines run almost parallel then they come together there where those points are so I'm going to replace all that and then we're going to get halfway around this curve probably just to where that set of right hand points is on the downward main line where it branches to the upper over branch line so the idea is to make the back of the layout a little bit more reliable because obviously it's the hardest to get to and it'll be interesting hopefully if I get this fitted to run a couple of locos and see if there's any difference at all once the track crosses from steel to nickel plate. So right now I'm going to get on top of the table start taking up these two back sections of main line and replacing them with the reconditioned nickel track. So let's get started. Okay, well, here we are. We've got the nickel plated track down on the back of the layout, and it went down quite smoothly, apart from a couple of the fish plates were a little bit tight, but I eased them with a very small screwdriver. It's better to have a nice tight uh, joint than a loose one for conductivity, but anyway. I got my up and down line mixed up a minute or two ago in the opening segment of the video so apologies for that. This is actually the track with the point there to the branch line. This is actually the up line not the down line so I need to make special care to learn my own layout. But anyway I've got the English Electric Type 3 and I'm just going to clean this new section of track. So I've got my rail cleaning wagon and we're just moving on to the nickel now. We'll just go backwards and forwards along this new section just to give it a bit of a clean. So it stops about there. So we'll just reverse this up. I've already cleaned the down line with the Dealey 3F on. And we're going to do a little experiment with the HM4000 in a minute. So I'll just pause the English Electric there. So we're looking for a little bit more realism with the inertia start on the HM4000. I've got the inertia at about 60% and the throttle at about 40. And I'm releasing the brake. So what we're going to be looking for in a minute is a nice smooth controlled start by the controller. So as you can see it's just creeping forward slowly there. And there is no doubt that the inertia control on the controller performs better with the nickel track which is great. Building up speed now. I'm 
and just let that continue to run round. It's quite good fun, this controller. Okay, well, let's back up the Coco and see if we can just couple on to the freight train that's waiting there. So I'm going to leave the track cleaning wagon in place. Hopefully that's connected. And let's see if we can move away at a nice scale speed. Slightly jerky start. But we are on the steel track still, not the nickel. So let's move around to the nickel and try the start again. So we'll just get onto this section here. Slow down. Right, let's see how it starts off on this track. Yeah, a lot more controllability on the nickel track. So we'll set it at a nice scale speed and just watch them both go round for a little while. There is no doubt this nickel track, the trains run a lot better on it, so I'm going to have to just keep working on this plating process, try and do another batch and get another section of the main lines cleaned up and changed over. I might do this section the deal is on now, where it comes around these set of double curves into this platform at the branch line. So that's quite a good success. I know I haven't got any of the points wired up, like I said in last week's video, but I think there's every chance that might happen for next week. But right now I think I'm just going to keep plating, get another batch of rails done, and keep improving this layout. And I think once I get the main lines working as I want, I will probably fix them down to the board. That's my next job. And I'm going to try and use micro screws to do it rather than nails. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. But for now we'll watch these just go around a bit more. I think that's about all for this week's video. As I say, I hope next week we might have wired up some of those new reconditioned points. And we'll see how they actually change and run. So I'll look forward to that in the next video. But for now, I'll say goodbye.